further ado, please join me in welcoming Joe Acosta from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, speaking about um, times of sudden leaderboards for engaging punctual behavior. Yeah, thank speaking you. Speaking of punctuality, I should <laughs> use that. Right. Yeah. Here you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, hi everyone. Uh, this is the title of uh, of the study. So, times up studying leaderboards for engaging punctual behavior. So, who is this boring speaker? Uh, my name is João Costa. Uh, the funny accent is because I'm Portuguese, but I'm studying at the University of Ontario Institute of Technology. I'm a PhD student at the Games and Media Entertainment Research Lab over there. And these are my contacts if you guys have any other questions regarding this presentation or any other things. Okay, so uh, the outline of what I'm going to talk. Um, first, I'm going to state what the problem is. Related work and our inspiration to sort of solve this problem. What was our approach, findings and limitations, some conclusions that we drew, and finally, Q&A. All right. So without, uh, before you guys get bored, what's the main takeaway of this presentation? First of all, leaderboards gave rise to positive social behaviors. Leaderboards magnify the interest levels of the participants, and this goes for both ways, so positive experiences and negative experiences. And leaderboards coupled with meetings, coupled with punctuality, uh, there was a great hindrance in there. Okay, so let's move. What was the core problem that we identified? So punctuality, we all know this person who strives to get on time, but never really is, and despite the amends that he tries to do, uh, that never really improves, right? Um, and especially when you're considering, for example, daily meeting uh, in whatever, like laboratories or uh, corporate environment, uh, that can be a hassle because you're missing bits of information, right? Every day. Um, and in our particular case, we were having daily lab meetings um, and we noticed that many of the, the attendees were actually late. So there was definitely room for improvement there. Another problem is that sometimes we do not have that vast motivation to go to meetings because we have to stop what we're doing and then we have to backtrack once we return to figure out where we were. So that's definitely another problem. So how can you improve on this gamification, right? So uh, what was our inspiration? There's a paper called Mandatory Fun where um, leaderboards and a basketball team was, uh, were applied to sales environment in order to improve the performance of the salesman. Now the thing is, for some of them, they, could, they, they perceived this as mandatory fun or as games at work as opposed to as games as work. And when you acknowledge these tasks as fun, they indeed stimulate the positive effect and thus increase your, uh, your performance, right? So what we tried to do was to apply a single gamification artifact and try to understand its impact on a very specific situation. Because we all know that leaderboards can increase performance, but what are the other specific impacts of leaderboards, right? Okay, so our approach was to conduct a very initial study in order to open further research uh, for, this, um, for this matter. And we measured arrival times on daily meetings of, uh, of our participants. And the motivation for them to go to the meetings was basically to get feedback on their progress because this is a research lab, right? So you have to keep track of what you're doing, your PhD thesis and whatnot. And that's the core motivation for them to go there. So for this purpose, we developed an Android application. We had the attendees to check themselves in in this application and measure the arrival time. And based on that arrival time, we calculated the score which we displayed on, uh, on leaderboards that were made available on a wiki. So they were available daily. And after two weeks of study, we conducted a small survey with the participants to know what they thought of, of this. Um, and this is basically our scoring scheme. So the way this worked was that the Android application was running on a tablet, and we left the, the tablet five minutes before the start date and time of the, um, the meeting in the meeting room. And for those who arrived earlier and checked themselves in, they would get 100 points. If you start coming in the first half of the meeting, you start losing points. And you start at a smaller um, step. So you start at 50 points and go all the way down to zero. If you arrive into the second half, you'll start getting negative points all the way down to minus 50. And if you do not show up, 
you will get minus 75 points. Now, where's, what's the key here is that everyone that participated was made aware that they would have to show up for two weeks. And we deliberately chose to um, have minus 75 points because if they didn't lose points, they could come early in one meeting and then arrive, I don't know, like halfway through the meeting. Whereas some other person who arrived two minutes late always would still be in disadvantage, right? Okay. So uh, these are some screenshots of the application. So you have the names of the participants down here, which are blurred. Um, and then you can create a new event. So if you create a new event, it works. Okay. You can pick a time and date. And the application will start tracking for, uh, for the participants who just basically check in. And that will highlight the buttons, showing those participants who are already checked in. Um, in the end of the event, all the buttons are made um, locked, and basically we, we get all the scores. Okay. So, and this is a graph with our mean punctualities, which were not significant. Um, so basically, this was a roadblock for us, and then we looked at the other stuff that we got, so the survey and um, empirical observations. And from those empirical observations, what we got was that, first, leaderboards influenced the interest of those participants. And we looked at the arrival times of some participants and their commentaries, basically. And for those who were already punctual, they had their interest increased in the meeting itself. Whereas those who already had a slightly negative experience or weren't really keen on attending meetings, they had their interest penalized, so they lost interest. Second, leaderboards influence what we call hindrance. So this ties back to what I was saying as you have to stop what you're doing to go to a meeting. And in this case, participants lost the focus of the purpose of the meeting, as in as the meeting is important because I'm getting feedback, and they were starting to focus on the points that they would get. And this ties down to this fact, which is task purpose. And the difference between task purpose and hindrance is that in hindrance, you have to stop what you're doing, so you can control what the, the task you're on, whereas in task purpose, say for example, you have to commute to go to the meeting and the bus might get caught on, on traffic. So you are losing points, you're losing your standing on the leaderboard due to other factors that you cannot control. Um, and for this matter, participants were also angry because they were losing the standing because they couldn't control uh, the outcome. And again, they were focusing on the points and not the content of the meeting. And then we have Behaviors, leaderboards influence behaviors. Which behaviors? So instead of our participant, instead of focusing in the general picture, they were more interested in smaller subsets of participants and engage in a competition between that smaller subset. Say, for example, uh, they would engage with their supervisor and possibly, I don't know, two project colleagues, right? Instead of trying to look at the top one and I want to go there, they wanted to be the top in their smaller circle of friends, if you want to call it that. And finally, uh, leaderboards influenced the appeal of the, um, of, um, of the task because we had a small Android application and some participants actually found that engaging to go there, seek for the tablet, see if other participants had already checked in um, and that increased the appeal of, um, of the task. However, this study has some limitations and other pitfalls. First. We had no control group. Why? Because it's in incredibly hard to find a group with the same meeting frequency and the same number of attendees. And I need to remind you that this was like a very initial study. So uh, we want to open doors for further research with this. Second, uh, we did not account for leaves of absence like sickness or vacation, for example. And some participants reported that that was slightly unfair. And that's very understandable. And third, uh, we only collected data for two weeks. Um, and if we had collected data for longer, we could have gotten probably more significant results. So what does this uh, open for uh, future work? Having a control group in the study. And a longer tri trial period, sorry, for adaptation to meeting times and data collection. Account for excused absences because, again, that might have influenced the scores of some participants and change the content of the meetings. Why? A lot of participants mentioned that, OK, we have leaderboards, but why are we just competing for the sake of functionality? I do not get anything out of this. So what might be valuable in terms of future work is actually changing the content of the meetings to more sociable content 
because that might be more intrinsically motivating. And then we can try to understand what happens if you compare losing a standing or missing a meeting, uh, missing a meeting and thus missing pleasurable content like social interaction, right? And future work should also focus on assessing the impact not only of leaderboards, but other gamification artifacts like uh, badges or, uh, or other. So just a quick recap of what I said. Uh, the positive uh, social behaviors arose thanks to the, the presence of leaderboards. And this is about the smaller social subsets uh, that people compare themselves with. Leaderboards did magnify the levels of interest of those who took part in the task. So those who had a positive experience got a better experience. And those who had a negative experience, it actually got worse. And finally, when you have leaderboards and meetings and punctuality all together, it's a mess unless you have a really good reward for uh, the participants to look after. And thank you.